Rastly used a graph of the basic rational function f of x equals to 1 divided by x, which is graphed here in gray, to graph g of x equals 1 divided by the quantity x plus 1 minus 2. For a quick review, let's look at an animation. We have the graph of f of x equals to 1 divided by x, and now let's see how the value of c and d affect the graph of g of x. Notice how when c is positive, or we have the quantity x plus a constant in the denominator, the graph is shifted left. And when c is negative, where we have x minus a quantity in the denominator, the graph is shifted right. So if c is negative, the graph is shifted right c units. And if c is positive, the graph is shifted left c units. And now let's see how d affects the graph. When d is positive, the graph is shifted up d units. And when d is negative, the graph is shifted down d units. We can summarize these two types of translations by saying that if c is negative, the graph is shifted right c units, and we can write g of x in the form of f of the quantity x minus c. If c is positive, the graph is shifted left c units, and we can write g of x in the form of f of the quantity x plus c. And if d is less than zero or negative, the graph is shifted down d units, and we can write g of x in the form of f of x minus d. And if d is positive, the graph is shifted up d units, and we can write g of x in the form of f of x plus d. So going back to our example, notice how because we have x plus one in the denominator and a minus two on the end, we can say that g of x is equal to f of Instead of x in the denominator, we have x plus 1. So it would be f of the quantity x plus 1. And because of the minus 2 on the end, we'd have minus 2. So this tells us that c is equal to positive 1 and d is equal to negative 2. So because c is equal to 1 and d is equal to negative 2, we can say that g of x is f of x shifted. Again, because c is 1 or because we have x plus one in the denominator, the graph is shifted left one unit. And because d equals negative two, or because we have minus two on the end, it's also shifted down two units. So now what we can do to graph g of x is shift these six key points of the basic rational function, f of x equals one divided by x, left one unit and down two units. So starting with this point here, we'll go left one, down two. This point, left one, down two. And this point, left one, down two. And now for these three points, left one, down two, left one, down two, and left one, down two. And let's also shift the horizontal and vertical asymptotes. Starting with the vertical asymptote, we can shift it left one unit, which would bring it to here. Notice how if we shift it down two units, it's not going to change the line. And now for the horizontal asymptote, we'll shift it down two units. Notice by shifting it left one unit, it does not change the horizontal line. And now we have enough information to make a nice graph of g of x. It passes through these three points and approaches the asymptotes. And passes through these three points and approaches the asymptotes. I hope you found this helpful.